With more asylum seekers from the southern border expected to be arriving here in New York City, the city is trying to find places to house them. And now officials are turning sections of public shelters, public schools into shelters. PIX11 Steve Kuj is live in Coney Island at one school where migrants are being allowed to stay. Steve. It is a pretty big topic out here tonight, Shirley. And interestingly, there's a lot of confusion over just when these migrants are going to be arriving here in Coney Island. Even local city council members we talked to, they seem to be out of the loop as well. That's what they told us themselves. The migrants could be arriving as soon as tonight or maybe throughout the weekend. When they do get here, the plan is to put them temporarily in the gymnasium of this elementary school, this public elementary school you see behind me here. This is PS 118 talking to some members of the community. A lot of folks say they were caught by surprise with this. It's going to be a disaster. New York's immigration process has been thrown into confusion. Currently, officials estimate around 500 asylum seekers are arriving in New York City every day. They're coming from countries in South America and Central America, traveling through Mexico and ending up here. However, with the COVID restrictions known as Title 42 expiring, some officials believe we could see thousands more arriving soon. We as a city cannot begin to change our laws. We cannot begin to do things that are going to have adverse effects to new New Yorkers, new Americans, and long-term New Yorkers. And so what we need is a real coordinated effort. Some of that effort will be to bring migrants to the gymnasium here at PS 188 in Coney Island. Parents don't like it. They are not going to have a gym anymore. Cafeteria is right here in the bottom. What's going to happen? This gym may not have all the luxuries of an apartment or hotel room, but it is a roof over the head and a place of safety with police officers watching. New York City Councilman Ari Kagan says all options are on the table when it comes to finding shelters for these asylum seekers, but he doesn't agree with everything city officials have planned. It's inhumane to migrants too. Yep. Uh, to be stationed in this school gym. It's a school gym, no showers. How do you see it, you know? And I understand, like, it's an emergency crisis. I understand it's a crisis. At other nearby schools, some parents are worried that turning their local schools into shelters and asylums could eliminate after-school programs and activities for the kids and teens in the area. Right now, there are a lot of unknowns. And even local leaders and officials don't have the answers. Office of Emergency Management should notify all elected officials to begin with, community board to begin with, and if it's a school or any other location, uh, they also should be notified properly. Many of the local and city leaders we heard from tell us President Joe Biden and his administration need to find a workable solution to the immigration issues that we're facing right now. And until then, everyone here says the communication needs to be improved. We're live in Coney Island. I'm Steve Kuz, PIX11 News.